Hello, and welcome back to another day of Mr. Allen's Random Videos. Today, we talk Wisconsin Spring, and who better to consult than the expertise of Sonny Storm himself. So, take it away, Sonny. Hey, 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 Sonny Storm, back again, reporting from where else other than the roof. Oh, today we're going to talk about Wisconsin Spring, man. Wisconsin Spring's pretty gnarly, but it's really fast. It's kind of like a unicorn. If you blink, it's gone. <laughs> so, we'll give you a few guidelines and things to adhere by during a Wisconsin spring. Here we go. Well, people, first and foremost, you're going to want to get yourself one of these backpacks because you need to pack for about 75 different weather combinations to happen in one day. You could be snowing one minute and then 85 the next. You have to be prepared. That's the key to Wisconsin spring. Get yourself a backpack. This here, my peeps, is sunscreen. You're gonna need some sunscreen because if your skin's like sunny storms, every five minutes you're at risk for burning up like a tomato. Also, get yourself some gnarly sunglasses because people, gnarly sunglasses are what it's all about. The gnarlier the sunglasses, the gnarlier the dude. That's the motto Sunny Storm lives his life by. All right, let's talk headwear for a second. You're gonna need yourself a good winter hat for the mornings that are like 32 or below because let me tell you, it happens, especially when it's raining and maybe snowing a little bit because that's part of Wisconsin spring. Then you're gonna need yourself a baseball cap to look a little swaggy, but also keep the, the sun out of your eyes. You know, you want to make sure you got some good shade above your eyes so that it doesn't harm your eyes. So, nice baseball cap, nice winter cap. You're going to have to prepare yourself. All things are put in the backpack. Also, we're going to want to talk gloves, people, because let me tell you, you're going to need a heavier pair of gloves for the unpredictable winter-like spring days. Then you're going to need a lighter pair of gloves for the average spring morning and then well you know you have the access accessibility to your hands because sometimes for about 20 minutes you can break that up. okay so here's the deal my spring like shirt slash jacket slash other kinds of jacket advice boils down to layers again 75 different options you need availability so you're gonna need a big winter jacket with the ability to keep you warm in the morning and at night. Sometimes, people, you're gonna need a gnarly flannel, you know, for those nights where you're standing around the campfire and you're feeling still pretty good about yourself, but you got a snazzy flannel anyways. For the rainy weather, you're gonna need yourself a rain jacket. For your average day, you're gonna need yourself a hoodie Oh, and one can't forget the pineapple shirt, the Sunny Storm trademark, people. Because when it gets really nice outside for about 15 minutes, that's when you break out the Sunny Storm pineapple shirt in the Wisconsin springtime. All right, now let's take a second here and talk about pants. You're going to want a good pair of sweats because sweats are comfy and they give you options. Here's why. You can jack your sweats up and make them short-like but still get the warmth from the sweats themselves. Just like that. <laughs> Look at those muscly legs Sunny Storm has. Also, you can then, under your sweats, wear a pair of shorts so you can break those out like any other summer day, people. So, again, it's all about layers. Wisconsin Spring, you gotta have options. Okay, then, last but not least, you're gonna need yourself a good pair of knee-high boots so you can trudge through some rainy weather and maybe a puddle or two. You're also gonna need a nice pair of hiker-like boots that are a little bit warmer than tennis shoes. And last but not least, you gotta rock the Crocs and socks, man. So there it is, Sunny Storm's personal tips to survive Wisconsin spring. Now you know what? Don't worry if you make a mistake or two, because really Wisconsin spring only lasts for like five days, man. We go from winter to spring for six, five days, six days. Then we get summer for about three months. Then we get fall for about 20 days and then winter the rest of the year, baby. Yeah. Here it is. Sunny Storm signing off. I hope you all have a great day. 
and enjoy Wisconsin's spring. Don't blink though, it's like a unicorn, you will miss it. Well, and there you have it. Sunny Storm's personal guide to surviving Wisconsin spring. So, get out there and enjoy your five, well, three days left of Wisconsin spring. Stay awesome. We'll see you tomorrow.